Hello everybody, this is David Peterson, welcome back to my channel. Yes, so Biotech has finally launched their makeup collection. I've heard about it, like I knew that this was in the works, but they finally released it and I was super hyped and super thrilled to try these products out for you guys. So um, I was online on Nykaa and I seen that they've launched their products, like it was launched that morning and I decided, okay, let me just get a few products and show to you guys. And so um, what really attracted me about these products was the tag which said natural makeup. I was like, okay, how is it going to work? What, what are the ingredients going to be? And um, so if you guys want to see the tea on these products, then keep on watching. So when Biotech released their natural makeup line, one was the Diva collection, one was the Star collection, and one was the Magic collection. So um, in all these three collections, um, I picked up the foundation from the Star collection and the compact from the Magic collection. So the reason I only picked up these two products was because everything else in the line seemed to be really bright, vibrant eyeshadows and metallic or bright colored liquid lipsticks and eyeliner stuff that I don't use um, they did have a shimmer powder and a lip balm which I did want to pick up but then they were out of stock so um, I will try picking out those two in the near future and try that out for you guys separately as well but the two products that I was able to get my hand on were these okay so first off let's talk about the packaging that these came in how adorable are these packages? look at it I'm going to show you a close up how cute are they? Look, it's so effing cute. Biotique better work. Okay, the packaging, 10 out of a 10. Let's go inside the product. So the tubes are pink, like everything in this collection is pink, especially the star collection. It's a pink tube, how adorable is this? So it's a pink tube with a silver nozzle. Kind of reminds me of the Lakme CC cream kind of a tube, but just that this is like pink, it's super pink, guys. The compact. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at it. It's just so cute. It doesn't feel cheap. It just feels like some good quality plastic. This is giving me Jeffree Star makeup vibes. <laughs> anyway, moving on to... Uh, so, I think the packaging is a 10 for me. I mean, I like the packaging. It's travel friendly. It's sturdy. It feels good. The quality is good. Let's move on to the pricing, ingredients, and let's just see how the product works. So, one thing that I was totally disappointed again with Biotech was their ingredient list. So um, Biotech somehow fails to never put up their full ingredient list on any of the products or on their websites. They just put up the key, key ingredients and for this, for the makeup line, there were no ingredients online on the website. There's nothing on the box either. They just tell you what the product is and how to use it and the collagen and everything. Okay, so if you are a brand with reputation and you want your consumers to believe in you and you want your consumers to trust you. Put all your information out there, be honest with them. I mean, the only reason and the only time uh, a brand does not state the ingredient list is because they are contradicting what their product is actually saying or is because it's cheap. That's the only time brands do not put out their stuff. So, um, Biotech, no shade to you. I mean, I love Biotech. I've been using so many of the products for the past few years. I still use the morning flawless nectar morning lotion. I still use the Bio Honey Water Toner, which is amazing. It's to die for. So, no shade towards the brand. They are a good brand, but I just wish that their ingredients were more clear, like people could see what they're putting on their face or whatever. So, yeah. Apart from that, the price points of these products were pretty affordable, like they were pretty, pretty cheap, I mean, which is kind of scary, but then, I mean, it is natural makeup and uh, I don't really know what the ingredients are in this because there aren't any mention, but um, for a brand like Biodate to release makeup and price it at these price points were, I was shook, I was shook to be honest, okay, so the foundation retail for 350 rupees for you get um, 
30 ml of product and the compact retail for 145 I mean how do brands even make those price points anymore the makeup community and brands have, I, I, they've just been exploding in how do companies still afford to make products this cheap it's scary but then okay <laughs> anyways uh, so the, the other problem I faced with these products were the shade range okay so if you're making products for Indian skin there are people with so many diverse skin tones the foundation this particular foundation had four shades they had just four shades and I was a little skeptical so I opted for the shade uh, vanilla 105 there were other two other shades which one was lighter than vanilla for very fair skin and then two completely dusky shades I just don't understand how this is going to work but um, yeah and even in the compact there were just four to five shades and the compact I picked up the shade amber which is 105 again um, I don't know if these shades are going to suit me if they're going to work for me um, I guess we'll have to just try it and find out um, so I've already prepped my face and everything so I'm just going to read and follow the instructions as it says so the foundation it says Stardew Insta Glow Complexion Care Foundation a long wearing foundation which stays all day and protects your skin from harmful UV rays so one good thing that this product has is an SPF 20 so it says mineral and color pigments from plant sources provide instant glow flawless coverage conceals and gives even skin tone how to apply apply dots on the skin and blend it well from inside out with a foundation brush after prepping your skin cool we got that here so we're good to go so um, before I start, I'm just going to read the other compact as well. Um, so the compact says it's a magic compact, skin lightening and whitening. Okay, I'm not a fan of brands or products that say skin lightening or whitening. It's just, just, it's just humbug. Anyway, a skin lightening and whitening flawless finish compact with multivitamins, minerals and plant and rich tints. Skin brightening complex formula with sun protection for porcelain skin. So this has sun protection as well. This has a sun protection of SPF 15 whereas the foundation has a 20 so it's supposed to be matte finish it's supposed to be lightweight and blends effortlessly we're about to find out if that's true <laughs> so how to apply use it daily for oil free and dry complexion let's get started so let's see how that's gonna work and okay I'm just gonna dive right in Okay, I think the shade might be a little dark for me, but um, I didn't have an option. I just have to work with what they had. So I, this is how it looks on my skin. Um, I'm just going to dot this all over my face. I still have a little more left on my hand. I'm just not going to use everything. Let's just see how good the coverage is. And if I do need more, then I will build up. Anyways, so let's just blend. Okay, what do you guys think? Honestly, this is a very sheer foundation. So if you are expecting crazy, you know, full coverage or medium to full coverage, um, you can layer it up. I mean, if you look close, you can still see that uh, my acne spots and imperfections are still visible. Um, so this doesn't cover it that much, but then... Um, let me try doing one more layer and see what happens. Oh wow, I'm surprised, okay. Okay, the formula of this thing is pretty good. I mean, I like it. It's a dewy finish. I think that's what the package says. It's 
make my skin glow naturally. I think I'm pretty impressed with the formula because it isn't cakey, it looks super natural like up close. I'm not sure about how you guys see it in the monitor but then up close looking at my mirror, it seems completely natural. I'm going to come close into the camera for you guys and it just seems so natural. It doesn't seem like you're wearing product on but then you do have some coverage going on there and it just seems dewy and natural. It just It's so lightweight on the skin. The smell is tending to lessen now and uh, which is a good thing. I hope it completely goes away. But um, I kind of like the formula. It just seems like a more full coverage CC or BB cream, uh, more than a foundation. But um, I think uh, claiming that it's natural and uh, for the brand and for the price point, I think it is a good foundation. So um, we're not gonna really know until I wear this the entire day. And uh, so let's just jump into the compact. Oh, okay. So it comes with a mirror. Okay, so I'm just gonna set. I normally, as you know, I normally don't set my makeup because I like it to be dewy, like a dewy finish. Um, so I'm just gonna set the use this powder under my eyes, on my T zone, on my chin, on my neck, my forehead, um, just to keep that in place and intact. And let's just see how that works. I don't know if there's any coverage whatsoever of this product, but I don't know. I don't see any color payoff or anything coming off this. I think it's just supposed to keep you oil free and I don't know I'm kinda of disappointed with the product. There isn't any coverage from this powder, it's just sheer, I guess it's just super sheer. Let me swatch this on my hand for you guys. Okay, so if you can see, that's how it looks. But as you blend out, there's no coverage. There absolutely is a coverage. Um, it just did, it mattified the under eye area, which I think was looking better without the powder. Um, honestly, I don't know what it did. It just let me just add a little more, and then let's see what happens. It seems to be a good setting powder. Um, gonna have to wait and see. Okay, so. That is it for these two products. Um, I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my makeup, and come back. And uh, we're gonna rate these products and see if they're worth it, if they're worth your money, if um, they're worth trying out. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So I've completed the rest of my face, and I'm pretty satisfied with how the entire look came out. I mean, um, the products made a good base for the rest of my makeup. I mean, my blush went on effortlessly, my contour, I just put some highlight on as well. Um, everything just seemed to set really well. Um, I'm going to show you up close as well. Um, it just seems nice, it seems very natural, it seems very healthy. Your skin looks healthy, it's glowing. Mm, for this price, and it's a pretty good product. Final verdict, if you are a college going student, if you just want a little coverage before you leave the house, if you're working and you want a light base with some sun protection just before you go to work or if you're going for a walk to the cafe, um, these might just be your friend because it's lightweight, it has sun protection in it and it's super affordable, it's budget friendly so you really have nothing to lose so go ahead try out these products you can get them from Nyko or you can even order them from the Biotech website online I'm not sure if it's released on the Biotech website but these are available on Nyko so um, you can get them from there but I think uh, you should try these products I'm gonna rate them a 5 out of a 10 because of the ingredient list missing um, I just wish the product had more full coverage more coverage to it but then um, which is not a bad thing it's okay um, so yeah 
it's a good product overall and uh, yeah I have nothing to complain about it so so this is my honest opinion on these products I've never used these products before this was the first time I'm trying it's so watching it for you guys and I'm wearing it on so uh, yeah so do let me know in the comments below what are the products you guys want me to try if there's anything in particular that you want me to review uh, do let me know in the comments and don't forget to like share subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video um, that's pretty much it for today guys um, until next time I love you all. Bye-bye.